This won't be a very good ride along because of the busted windshield. This is my Jocko Willink pomegranate white tea <laughs> that I pay $25 for 100 tea bags for, which is ridiculous, but I really like the flavor. And I just uh, make iced tea out of it. It's really, really nice. So uh, who cares about that? Put that down there. Red doesn't care about it. But anyway, we're going to sneak over here just to take a look down slope. Now you may wonder why there's a fence line here and no fence. And it's because of a lack of maintenance on the fence. And uh, because I'm not sure if I want to keep the fence the way it is. I probably will. But uh, I'll know more in the spring. <laughs> As usual. Anyway come over to here and uh, check these cows and see how many are hanging out down the slope. I don't, there may be a couple of more, but not very many and they're all going to come into water. So <clears throat> again, one of the interesting things here is it may be hard to tell, but this pasture is heavily terraced, which means that they dug a bunch of ditches in here for erosion control and just let the grass grow back into the ditches, uh, which is great. So one of the nice things is that these ditches or terraces, as we call them, collect snow during the winter. And they also collect a lot of rainwater when, the, when it rains and the water flows downhill. And so there's always more grass and, in general, more lush grass in uh, these terraces and around the terraces it's kind of uh, a little um, micro uh, micro ecosystem is the word I'm trying to think of that's different than most of the other parts of the pasture uh, because of that increased water and change in topography and all that kind of stuff but anyway Cows can get down here, and particularly this time of the year in the terraces, if they can paw and nose their way through the snow, they can uh, find a lot of green grass, especially since <clears throat> the terraces kind of generally run east and west, and so the winter sun beats down on the exposed side of the terraces as you can kind of see there so you get uh, kind of uh, more melting on the north side of the terrace and uh, so that exposes more ground warms up the ground the grass continues to not so much grow but to stay green and uh, photosynthesize a little bit and the cows can gobble that up and they can do it in general uh, without causing any harm to the grass whatsoever because it's for for all practical purposes it's essentially dormant even though it's still barely synthesizing it's a little bit of a paradox and it's not entirely true but it's kind of sort of true so anyway, uh, yeah. Up here on the top, this is one of the highest parts of the ranch. We're up over 5,000 feet here. And this down here is that big north-south gully that I've mentioned. 
in previous videos and previous blog posts and uh, down there is a uh, erosion control dam that was probably built at the same time the terraces were built so check out the winter wonderland busted windshield and all red wants to go check out that cow we better go do that